All right, guys, welcome to Tuesday Night Thrive, the Builder Series, guys. It's about to get real with this series. I know um, a lot of people are excited about this business, right? They're excited about what we got going on, the greatest opportunity on the planet. Guys, there's nowhere else where you can win at such a high level. I mean, you got to realize what we're a part of right now. I mean, we are in the golden era where you can make money from your phone. And I'll just tell you guys this. I know there's a lot of shiny objects out there. There's a lot of shiny objects that try to pull people away uh, from, from doing what they need to do for their family's future, right? Whether it may be distractions or other opportunities or whatever it may be, you got to just focus. I promise you, if you focus and decide to go all in with this for a season of your life, six months from now, 12 months from now, your life can look a lot different. But I'll just tell you right now, the biggest regret all of you are going to make is sitting here 12 months from now in the same spot that you are right now. And the only way that's going to happen is if you don't show up. If you don't show up, you don't apply the information that's being taught, and you decide to just not get uncomfortable. See, it takes you getting uncomfortable to get ahead in life. Your wealth zone is just outside your comfort zone. So you got to get uncomfortable. And some of the things I'm going to teach you tonight are going to require you to get uncomfortable. Okay. And tonight's call is very, very important. The, the first skill sets that we are talking about on the builder series is probably the most important prospecting and inviting. Now I want you guys to type some sevens in the chat. If you think it'd be pretty valuable to learn how to prospect people and invite people to check out what we do, right? Type some sevens in the chat if you guys think that's kind of an important skill set. You're absolutely right, it is. And not only is it important, it's the most important, okay? Here's why. I already said it, but you can be a great presenter. You can be a great closer. You can be a good launcher, right? You're really good at launching people. You can be a, a great leader who leads people. You can be a great promoter, right? You're really good at getting people to the events and on the calls. But guess what? It doesn't mean jack squat if you're doing all of that to an empty chair. And that's a lot of you right now. You're perfecting skill sets that you don't even need. You're, you're, you're reading books about leadership and duplication but you don't have anybody checking out the information, right? Now, I'm all about growing yourself and becoming the best version of, of, of yourself. But don't you think it'd be a smarter idea to learn communication skills and, and prospecting and influencing and inviting the skill sets that are going to actually get people into your organization and allow you to grow a big business? I mean, these are the things that, you know, I don't like traditional sales, but this is the, the stuff that they teach in traditional sales because it's necessary to learn in order to communicate with people and get a customer, right? And so that's what I'm going to talk about tonight, guys. I'm going to talk about, uh, you know, not only prospecting, but building relationships. Uh, I'm going to talk about inviting, and I'm actually going to live role play with you guys how I prospect with people and how I invite people, okay? Okay. And so the first thing that I'm going to go over is prospecting, okay? Because I believe that you have to constantly be growing your network if you want to win in this industry. So I, I want everybody right now in the chat, I want you to type how many people you think you have in your network that you could message right now, right? Just give an estimate. Estimated number in the chat of how many people are in your network network. We've got 2000, we've got 500, 500, 5000, 800, more than you can count on your fingers, 10,500. Cool. So I'm going to give you guys a stat that might blow your mind. It's a scientific fact that by the age of 21, you know, at least a thousand people by name. A thousand people by name. You may not remember them. You may not remember them. Do you remember off the top of your head the kids you went to elementary school with? 
Probably not. But if you went and looked back in your yearbook, you'd be like, oh yeah, Jefferson. I remember that kid. He stuck gum in my hair, right? If, if you went and thought about all the jobs that you had ever worked at and you'd be like, oh yeah, I remember Susie. She sat in the corner and didn't talk to anybody. I never even got a chance to talk to her, but I remember her, right? Thousand people by name, you know, a thousand, you're just not thinking of them. Okay. And now think of if, if some of you are older than 21, some of you are 24, 25. Think about how many people, you know, now. When you're an adult and you're actually out and about meeting people every single day, you're going to, you know, whatever it may be, social gatherings or parties and, or, or, you know, work events or the gym every single day. Now, how many people do you know? I mean, it's crazy. Some people get into this business and they're like, oh, I don't have anybody to show. I tell them to make a list of 200. They're like, oh, I don't have 200. If I told you right now, make a list of 200 names that you know, okay, where if, if, if we called them, they'd be like, I, and, and we had to ask them, hey, do you know so-and-so? So for example, if I had Hunter Moss, if I had Hunter Moss, write down a list of 200 names. And I said, Hunter, I want you to write a list of 200 names. And he said, oh, I don't have 200 people. And I said, all right, you write a list of 200 names with their phone number next to it. And we call all of them and we confirm, hey, do you know Hunter Moss? If I did that and said, hey, that's a, we'll give you $1,000 if you do that. You'd, you'd figure out the 200 names, wouldn't you? Yeah, I see you shaking your head. You figure it out because you do. You're just being lazy, right? Everybody has the names. Everybody has the people to reach out to. You're just not thinking, okay? So number one, you have to have a large list if you wanna make a lot of money in this business. So right now, if you don't have a list of names somewhere, I would fix that immediately, okay? When I went on one of the biggest runs in my network marketing career, I read made a list. I'd already been in the industry for four or five years. Think about how many people you guys have shown, okay? I want you guys to type in the chat how long you guys have been in. How long you guys have been in? Actually, better yet, scratch that. I want you guys to write in the chat how many people you think you've shown. How many people do you think you've shown the presentation to? Type that in the chat real quick. <laughs> Not enough. <laughs> 200, 20, 20, 35, 50 to 60, 10, 1, 200, 100, 300, 50 to 60. Okay, cool, cool. So I'll just tell you guys this. It was my goal. I knew that when I went on a big run, I had to show three to five a day, right? But it was my goal being in network marketing. I was like, for as long as I'm in network marketing, I'm going to show at least one person a day. There's no way I'm going to bed without showing one person a day. So think about, I had been in network marketing for four years. I've been in network marketing for four years and the goal is to show one a day. I mean, if you do the math on that, that's me showing about 1,500 people. So some of you are saying that, you know, you only had 500 people in your contacts. I had shown 1,500 minimum, minimum. That didn't, that was personal. That didn't even count the people in my organization that I was showing, okay? But 1,500 minimum, and I decided to remake a list. So I'd already shown 1,500, and I made a brand new list. And I said, you know what? I'm going to make a brand new list of every single person I know that has not seen the presentation. I don't care if I've messaged them. I don't care what I said to them, if I mess it up, whatever. If they have not seen the slides, their name is getting written down on this sheet of paper. And four years into this business, I remade a list and I got 547 people on that paper. Four years in, already having shown 1,500. So I know you guys could probably make some massive, massive lifts if tonight you actually weren't lazy, you got, you got motivated, you got dedicated to your business, took it seriously, got out a couple sheets of paper and wrote it down. Yes, your hand's going to cramp up. Yes, it's going to be painful, but is it worth it? If I said, hey, make a list of 2,000 names tonight and three years from now, you're going to be a seven-figure earner. All of you be like, yep, I'm, it's done. I got it, right? 
So make your list. That's the easiest place to start. But here's what you need to know. You have to constantly be growing that list every single day. Constantly be growing that list every single day. Now, how do you do that? Prospecting. You have to be meeting people every day and growing your network or you're going to struggle. And so I want to give you guys some, some tips because eventually you're going to get to the point where like, oh, I ran through my list. Now what? Well, by the time you run through that list of 2000 names, you should have added another 2000 names. That's the goal. The goal is to never run out of people. There's 7 billion people in the world, guys. If you do this correctly, you should build a seven figure business way before you ever run out of people, right? And so here's what I do. I'm going to bring, um, I know Werner was going to come on for the inviting. Uh, Tyler, are you there? If, if not, no worries. I just need a volunteer or I can bring on some random person. Um, type in the chat, guys, if you want to volunteer. Type in the chat if you guys want to volunteer. Because I'm going to, I'm going to pick someone to basically, I'm going to, I'm going to prospect you how I would if I'm out and about. All right. Looks like we got Luis Sanchez. Let me, how do I do this? Okay, here we go. Turn on your video, brother. All right. I'm going to unmute you what is up aj what's going on bro what's going on man how you doing good bro good bro <laughs> everything everything we everything you guys are saying bro fire fire let's go let's All right, go man, let's go. get it so real quick i'm gonna i'm gonna pretend that i'm i'm coming up to you at the gym and i just want you to answer all these questions truthfully like you're not in the business all right got okay? it okay so hey what's going on bro that's a dope sweatshirt where'd you get it uh, my girl actually got it for me, bro. <laughs> oh, nice. That's cool. How long you and your girl been together? Uh, for like about a year and stuff, man. Oh, okay. You, you, plan, yeah, on bro. Being, you plan on being with her for a while? She's a keeper? Oh, yeah. Yeah, bro. She's a keeper. Trust me. She, she, yeah, <laughs> she's a keeper, bro. <laughs> Good stuff, man. Good stuff. You, you from around here? You come to the gym every day? Yeah, I actually, uh, I actually just got a membership, you know, a couple days ago. So I wanted to, you know, start hitting the gym again and stuff, you know? Okay. So just getting back into it. Yeah, for sure, bro. Good stuff, man. Hey, well, we'll have to get a lift in sometime, but what, what do you do for work? Uh, I actually deliver. I work DoorDash right now, so, you know, okay. I'm just doing that temporary and stuff. Yeah. Nice. What about you, man? What do you do? Um, I actually trade foreign and cryptocurrencies. Nice. So, yeah, it's pretty cool, Good man. Deep. But, but how, how do you like DoorDash? Nah, it's... You it's just like it. a little it's just a little side hustle yeah, i heard it i heard it's pretty good pay it's not bad i mean obviously you get some freedom too yeah yeah but it's the pay is not the greatest and stuff it's just a little side hustle bro okay you got any big plans for next year uh probably planning on moving down to florida for sure that's okay. that's hey, gonna I'm be that too i'm, I'm moving <laughs> next year and a half bro so i feel it yes well cool man hey what was it was nice meeting you on you on facebook or instagram yeah man uh get my stamp okay cool cool Boom. So hey, I appreciate, I appreciate you. Hey, appreciate you, bro. All right. That's it guys. Type in the chat. If that was helpful, type in the chat. If that was helpful. So I'm going to point out a few things. You notice how it was not a forced conversation. It wasn't a forced conversation. I'm not being weird. I'm like, yo dude, nice sweatshirt. Where'd you get it? You can always find something to comment on. Right. Whenever you're out and about, you can always find something to comment on. And you have to be the person that makes it so it's not weird. Because obviously, them, they're going to have their guard up when you first talk to them. They're going to have their guard up when you first talk to them. So you have to be the person that kind of jokes around and, and lowers their guard by just having fun. They're going to be like, oh, yeah, this dude's cool. All right. So if you notice, I was like, how long you, you and your girl been together? Is she, she a keeper? Right? I'm just kind of messing around with him. Okay. And I, I just keep the conversation very light. And you notice so, sometimes this will happen. Most of the times, 
most of the times they do not ask me what I do, right? He did ask me what I do. Sometimes that does happen. But notice what I did when he asked me that. I said, I trade foreign and cryptocurrencies. But how do you like your job? I switched it right away. I don't want to get into what I do at all. I don't want the conversation to be about me ever. I'll answer the questions, but I will always switch it right back on the other person. Okay. And so then I started asking him about his job. I started asking him if he liked it, how long he's been doing it. And then I even made it seem like his job was amazing. I said, oh, I've heard, I've heard DoorDash is pretty good, man. I heard it, you know, you get some freedom. So I'm not, I'm not bashing what he does. And I'm also, when he said, when he said, oh, you know, I, I don't really like it. I wasn't like, oh, well, I have the opportunity for you, right? <laughs> no, I just keep it cool, cool, calm, and collected. I'm building a friendship. I'm building a friendship with this person. Now I have their social media. Now they just added me on Instagram, okay? And because they added me on Instagram, now they're gonna start watching me. So I want you guys to, to type in the chat, what do you think is important to have if you're prospecting people and adding them to your social media every day? What do you think is important to do? I want you to type in the chat, what do you think is important to do Nailed it. Stories. Stories. Guys, if you're prospecting people onto your social media and your social media looks like crap, how do you, like, you're saying, hey, let's connect on social media, but you're not giving that person anything to watch. When I prospect somebody, I've worked very hard. It's taken me seven years to get my Instagram to look how it is, right? 25,000 followers, clean bio, clean highlights, clean pictures. I got reels on there. I mean, I spent a lot of time on the captions and everything, right? Matt Werner, he's done the same thing. Joey Wilson, he's done the same thing. We're getting my, my boy Maldo, right? He, he, he's, he's getting linked up with a good social media now. Tyler Sorensen, his is crispy. Why do you think that is? Why do you think we have good social medias? Because we have to brand ourselves in this business, guys. You're an entrepreneur running a business. You are the business. Understand that. The business is not I Am Academy. You are the business. So start focusing on social media. I know this call is not about social media, but I'm gonna tell you guys right now, you should be asking questions every single day to your mentors and leaders about how to make your social media better, what to post, how to post, how to get cooler pictures, how to get cooler edits, how to, how to get creative. I mean, you should be asking these questions every single day. I, Joey is so good at social media. Like there's so much knowledge that he still has, right? I know even Werner asked him a lot of stuff about cameras and other things that are gonna help him in the future with videos and whatnot that, that Werner wants to do. And that's, I ask him some of the same questions because he's got a lot of knowledge on it. And at the end of the day, you have to realize that we're branding ourselves. So if you're not posting on your stories every day, every day, guys, watch how fast this can happen. There's an algorithm on Instagram. And this is why I do what I do. There's an, there's an algorithm on Instagram where basically what happens is if you post on, on your story, the, it shows you the most recent stories but it also shows you the ones that you view the most. So what happens if I post on my story every single hour? I'm always at the front of people's feeds. My story is always at the front. So what do they start to do? Every time they log into to Instagram, my story is at the front because I post every hour. Now they keep clicking on it. And now because they keep clicking on it, because I post every hour and because they keep tapping my story, now I'm one of the ones that they keep tapping on the most. So because of the algorithm, they're now watching my stories every single day, just by default, right? My top three are Werner, Joey, and my fiance. I literally watched those three so much that they've now gone to the front of my Instagram every time that I open it up. So you guys got to realize that there's, there's a, a method to this madness. And so you have to get very good at prospecting 
and growing this network of yours. Every time you have a conversation like I just had with Louie, you're going to be able to add somebody to your social media, but it is crucial that your social media reflects that you are an entrepreneur, that you've branded yourself, that you're a high level individual that can help the person that you just pro prospected live a better life. That's what you need to portray. When, there, when, when your person that you prospected, wherever it was, when they open your social media, they should go, wow, this dude lives a good life and could probably help me live a better one. That, that is my sole goal, okay? Because if I, if I transfer that message to them, I know I did my job, all right? So that's prospecting, guys. That's, that's how I prospect people. Obviously, the conversation changes every time. There's not a script, right? I, I, I don't actually like the whole, you know, I like forming. I do like that, you know, where are you from, you know, occupation, recreation, and then message. I, I do like that method. But for me, I like to free flow it. I like to free flow it and just have a normal conversation with them. Because if you're struck doing a structure like that, like, oh, where are you from? Oh, cool. What do you do for work? Oh, cool. What do you do for fun? It's like, dude, like people are like, what are you even saying right now? You sound like a robot. And so you guys have to get into the, the groove of the conversation. Just learn how to communicate with people. Be a cool person. Right. You got to You honestly do have to have a little bit of swagger. You got to be cool. So be cool, be calm, be collected and just talk to people like you would normally talk to them. And when you're talking to them, make sure you look sharp and make sure you're talking sharp. OK, because if you are, again, that's your first their first impression of you is what comes out of your mouth. So make sure it's something good. All right. So that's prospecting. Now I want to kind of get into inviting. First, first of all, type some, type some ones in the chat if that helped you guys. If you think you guys are going to be able to grow your networks a lot faster. I'll tell you guys this. It is my goal to do what I just did with Louie. It's my goal to do that twice a day. Twice a day. That's it. Because guess what? If I do that twice a day, that's 730 new contacts every year. 730 new contacts every year. Not that I message randomly on social media, people that I actually met face to face and trust me way more. Okay. So glad that was helpful. Now what I want to do is I want to switch gears into a couple inviting techniques. All right. Inviting is so, so important. All right. There, there's a lot of things to be said when it comes to inviting, but I think the two most important things right? That I, that I can tell you guys, and you can write these down. Number one is to be excited. Number one is to be excited. If you aren't excited when you're inviting, you got no shot. People follow people who are excited. And the second one is vision. People, people follow people who are excited and know where they're going. Excitement and vision. Those are the two things you need to have when you're inviting. Okay, and if I could add a third, I'd say this, say as little as possible. Say as little as possible. I got, you know, it's crazy guys. There's a lot of people that I see inviting that just wanna rip out every little detail of the presentation in their invite. I'll be honest with you guys. When I invite, I don't even mention trading. I don't even mention trading. I just talk about how I'm launching something big. That's it. So I'm going to tell you guys, I'm actually not even going to tell you. I'm going to show you the invite that all of you guys could do tonight and get at least five prospects on the overview. And probably one of them is going to sign up. Type in the chat, some, some fire emojis in the chat. If you guys would like to sign up one person tonight, using the method that I'm about to teach you. You could easily do it, but you gotta follow it word for word. So make sure you're listening, okay? So I'm gonna bring my boy Matt Werner on here and we're gonna role play the call invite, okay? Because the best way to invite is by calling. A lot of you are too scared to pick up the phone and I'm gonna just tell you right now, you can't say you want to be a high-level entrepreneur 
and you're not willing to pick up the phone and talk to people like that. If you look at any millionaire or billionaire, they're doing this all day. They are, they are on the phone talking to people. You can't build relationships. People can't hear your excitement. You can't cast vision over a text message. Sure, you, you, I mean, you can try, but it doesn't come across the same way as it does if you're talking to them on the phone. So I want to share with you guys what I teach my brand new people. And there's a lot of you on this call that aren't brand new, but I want you to realize there's people in your network that you could still do this invite with. There's people that you have not called that you could call tonight and do this invite with, okay? So I'm going to bring Matt on here. I'm going to spotlight you, brother. What's going on, boss? How you feeling? I'm doing good, bro. How about yourself? I'm good. I'm good. So I'm going to just call you. And the first time I want you to not be free. And the second time I want you to be free, but I want you to give me a hard time. Okay. Okay. So guys, this is what the invite was sound like. And if you want to record it, you can record it on your phone or whatever, but this is exactly what you should do when you pick up the phone. Okay. So ring, ring, ring. Hello. Yo, what's going on, Matt? Real quick. I'm in a hurry. But are you free tonight at 9 p.m. Central Time? Uh, no, I'm not. Oh, no worries, bro. I'll catch you later. Click. Wait. I don't even wait for him to say bye, guys. I don't even wait for him to say bye. Here's why. Because if I hang up on him, what is he thinking in his mind right now? Why the heck did AJ just call me, ask if I was free, and then hang up on me? Now you've got them thinking. Now you've got them curious you got them curious about what you're doing. They might even call you back. Matt, I want you to call me back. Yo, why'd you hang up on me? Hey, are you, are you, hey, sorry about hanging up on you, but are you, are you free tonight at nine or no? No. All right, click. I told you. I literally have done that to people, guys. And guess what? I'll invite them five days later. We'll pick up the phone. I'll invite them again. And here's what'll happen. Ring, ring, ring. Yo, what's up, bro? Hey, what's going on, man? Real quick. I'm in a hurry, but are you free tonight at 9 p.m.? I got a date tonight. I don't know if I'll be able to make it work. Are, are you free or not? <sighs> Maybe. I'm not sure, though. I, I, can I let you know in a little bit? No, I just, I just need a solid yes or no, man. It's all good if you're not, but just give me a solid yes or no. Yeah, but what, what's it about? Like, what am I going to be doing on the call? Awesome. So you're free? Yeah, I can free up some time. Okay, perfect, perfect. So I'm launching a project, man, and I want you to be one of the first people to see it. I'm going to send you a Zoom link for 9 o'clock. Can I count on you to be on there? But what, what's the project get about, bro? Just explain it to hey, me. Hey, like dude. I said, man, I'm actually really in a hurry. I'm running into a meeting right now, but I'm going to send you that Zoom link. Can I count on you being on there? Yeah, how long is it? Uh, it's going to be about 25, 30 minutes. I'll send you the link right now and just jump on at nine, okay? All right, bye, I'll be on. Click. Appreciate you, bro. So yeah, guys, type some sevens in the chat if that, if that makes sense. That is the invite that will make you more money than you could ever imagine. That's it. I didn't mention trading. I didn't, mind, I didn't mention business opportunity. I didn't say, hey, we're going to make a lot of money. I didn't say any of that. As soon as you say one of those things, it's done. You've confused your prospect. You've confused your friend and family member, and they're probably not going to get on the call. Or they might, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a lot harder. And they're going to jump on the call with a closed mind. If you start talking about business opportunity, all that, they're going to be like, mm, what's this? Is he trying to sell me something? What is it? Right? They're going to get on the call with their guard up. But if I just say, hey, man, I'm launching a project and I want you to be one of the first people to see it. I'm going to send you a Zoom link. This is really important to me. Can I count on you jumping on at nine? Right? And they're always going to ask, what is it? I'll just tell you guys that. So first step is to say you're in a hurry and ask if they're free. If they're not free, you say, no worries, hang up the phone. If they are free though, if they are free, then you can move on to step two. And that's where you use these three things. Launching a project. I want you to be the first. 
Can I count on you? That's what's in step two. All right, launching a project. I want you to be the first. Can I count on you? You need to use those three things in the second step. Every time you say that second step, they're gonna ask, what is it? Unless they're just one of your really good homies. They're super open-minded and they're like, yeah, bro, I'll be on. You, you'll get some of those people. Those people are dope. I love those people, okay? But most people are all going to ask you, what is it? So just be ready for it. As soon as you say, can I count on you be on there? Be ready for them to say, what is it? Okay, just be ready for it because they're going to say it. And that's where you have to go back to step one. Say, like I said, bro, I'm actually in a hurry. I'm running into a meeting right now, but I'm going to send you this Zoom link. I need to know, can I count on you being on there at nine? You, you reaffirm. Can I count on you? Because now you're holding that person accountable to being on that call. Okay. And then 15 minutes before the call, hey, man, here's the link again. Calls live in 15 minutes. I'll see you on there. That's it. All right. So that invite right there, guys, is what I teach all my brand new people. Now, whether they do it or not is up to them. Just like I just taught you guys the, the perfect invite. And it's up to you if you're going to do it or not. If you do, I promise you, you're going to get a few people on the call tonight and you probably sign one of them up because this is the system, guys. The system is the system. I've, I learned this invite. I want you guys to realize something. I learned this exact invite, this exact call invite seven years ago in a different company with different leaders and a whole different product. And guess what? I joined this company three years ago, different leaders, different product. And now three years later, after I joined this company, we're teaching the same exact invite from when I started the industry seven years ago. If the system's not broken, don't fix it. This is what works. I see so many people, they want to try to find the most reinventive way to do things. Guys, just do what works. This works. Okay the most powerful invite that you can use. And I promise you it'll help you a lot. And so I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna give you guys one more thing to use. All right, so let me pull, I'm gonna share my screen with you. <clears throat> AJ, you remember Eric G um, when he said, oh, you mean call, call. Like, yeah, a lot yep. of people may think, oh, can yep. I use this invite texting? 100%. No, no, no. Pick up yeah, the guys, I mean, I'll go to, I'll go to, um, here, wait, I won't share my screen yet. I'll go to, uh, I'll go to college campuses or I'll hang out with, you know, 18, 19, 20 year old uh, kids. And I'm like, all right. So I, I, look, I go through the whole launch and they, they make their list of names. I'm like, all right, let's call these people up. And they're like, all right, sounds good. <laughs> I'm like, no, you, you got to call. You're like, yeah, I got you. And I'm like, no, dude, you got to pick up the phone. And they're like, oh, like call, call. I'm like, yeah, bro, you got to pick up the phone, pick up the phone and start calling people, right? Some of you guys have probably seen Wolf of Wall Street. What's the famous line? Pick up the phone and start dialing, right? It's, it's, it's just true in all businesses, all entrepreneurship. You got to pick up the phone, whether it's prospecting, inviting, uh, closing your prospect, uh, whether it's promoting an event, whether it's talking to your team, guys, picking up the phone is the most powerful thing you can do. Some, some leaders in this business, all they do is text their teams. I, I've seen it on other organizations. I've, I've heard of people from other organizations. They'll hit me up. They're like, hey, dude, you know, I just want to know if I could plug into what your team was doing. You know, I see your guys' culture is super cool. I'm like, well, don't you have mentorship over there? And they're like, no, my leader just texts me every now and then. And I'm like, what? <laughs> right? So don't be that leader. Be the person that picks up the phone, calls their team, calls the prospects to close them, and calls the people to invite them. I promise you, you're going to get way more people on the calls if you guys just pick up the phone. But real quick, um, before I wrap up this call, I want you guys to hold on. There we go. Share my screen. I want you guys to know where this video is so that you can watch it over and over and over. Okay. So if you guys go to my YouTube channel, it's just AJ Sandberg. Um, I'll show you guys real quick. I have a lot of videos too. 
all of these thrive calls that we've done are all on here. Uh, we did last week, a 90 day run, uh, lifestyle of a dominator with Joey was fire. We did a leadership panel, uh, uh, blessing your neighbor. This one was amazing. I got a lot of good feedback from this call. Uh, we had Alex Morton on one of the thrive calls. So there's a lot of good thrive calls on here guys. Um, but the one I want you guys to watch is right here. It's a two minute, 57 second video. And basically I explain, um, another way to invite people that maybe you haven't talked to in a while. So I know for some of you are thinking, okay, I got a thousand people on my names list. And I could probably call about 50 of them and they'd actually pick up the phone. The other 950 are not answering my call. I haven't talked to them in a while, all right? This is how you're gonna invite those people, okay? This invite right here is how you're gonna invite people that you can't necessarily call. It, it basically teaches you how to do what I did with Louie. It teaches you how to break the ice, have a conversation with them, and then kind of transition it into the invite so if you guys haven't watched that video make sure that you go and watch it all right but the biggest key points of this call that i want you guys to understand all right this is a short call because there's not really much that that i can explain that the, the invite is that simple it's so simple that i only need a 30 minute call to explain this normally these calls are an hour long but i only need 30 minutes because it should be that simple so Number one, when you're prospecting, don't be weird. Don't be weird and make sure you look sharp. You guys got to realize that if you want people to follow you, you better start dressing and talking like the million dollar version of yourself. When I go to the gym now, I go to the gym in my, my nice, I actually have really nice sweatpants on. They're, they're uh, really expensive, but that's besides the point. But what I do is I'm in my sweatpants, but I put on a nice top. I put on a nice top. I actually put on like a, like a quarter zip. Um, I don't even know what it's called. Like a, a fancy quarter zip sweatshirt that you would go out to dinner in, right? Or I'll, I'll wear one of my nicer shirts with a chain and my sunglasses. And I, I just, I walk into the gym. You know how like when uh, basketball players, they show up to the, they show up to the basketball game in their nice outfit and then they change into their uniform. Start doing that when you go to the gym. Show up to the gym looking fresh and change in the locker room. And then after your workout, change back into that nice outfit. So when people see you come in and out of the gym, they're like, dang, this dude's sharp. You know, he's in scrubby clothes while he's working out, but he's coming in and out like a boss, right? Make sure that you look sharp. Make sure that you talk sharp. Make sure you're always alert and ready to talk to people, whoever's around you. Austin Godzi talks about the three foot rule. If somebody comes within three feet of you, you have to start a conversation with them. Who's committing to that rule right now? I want you to type some eights in the chat. If you're going to commit to the three foot rule tonight, right now, for the next 12 months, I want you guys to commit to the three foot rule. If somebody comes within three feet of you, you start a conversation with them. Start a conversation with them. I don't care how weird it may be. Figure out how to start a conversation with them. Don't be weird. Talk normal. Be cool, calm, and collected. And at the end of it, after you've built some, some rapport, you've built some relationship with them, you can go, hey, bro, let's stay connected. You on Facebook or Instagram? And it's super simple, okay? Super simple. So prospecting, it's very important to be cool, calm, and collected. Don't be that weird guy. Don't talk about yourself. Guys, I'm going to give you a quick tip. If you are the type of person that talks about you all the time, you are never going to win in this business because this business is not about you. This life is not about you. It's about impacting other people. I see it time and time again. So many people, they're trying to prospect people and they just keep talking about themselves. They're trying to help their team and they keep talking about themselves. Don't make this business about you. Don't make this life about you. Because in the end, if you help enough other people get what they want, you automatically get what you want. Start listening to people. Start hearing people, what they're saying, what they're going through, what they do, where they're at, and just absorb it. Absorb it and listen, because you're going to be able to help those people 10 times more by actually knowing them and knowing who they are and what they're going through. All right? So prospect correctly.
prospect correctly and look sharp and make sure your social media is on point. I cannot stress this enough. I, I have a social media training on my YouTube as well. Watch it if you need to. Like I said, reach out to your mentors and leaders. Ask for help when it comes to social media, if you need to. The more questions you ask guys, the better you're gonna be. So prospect correctly, look sharp, make sure your social media is sharp. And when you're inviting people, make sure it's that call invite. That is the first invite. And when you get somebody started, that better be the only invite that you teach them. I get, I get brand new people on my team. They've been in like a week or two. And they're like, hey, how do I reach out to people I don't know? I said, we don't do that. We don't do that. I don't even tell them. I'm like, no, we don't do that. It's just, it's just people you know. I literally tell them it doesn't exist because I don't even want them to do that. You shouldn't do that until you're really a P1000. Okay? So cold market does not exist for brand new people. The only thing that exists for brand new people is that call invite that I just did with Werner. Okay. So understand only teach that to your, only teach that invite to your brand new people. All right. And once they run through that list of like 50 people that they can call, then you can go teach them the invite that's on my YouTube. All right. How to reach out to people, form a conversation, kind of uh, break the ice and then transition into the invite from there. Okay. So guys, that's prospecting and inviting. I hope you guys got some value from this first builder series call. Um, I believe next week, if, if nothing changes, uh, next week, we're going to go over presenting and closing. So I'm going to bring on a couple people and uh, they're going to throw some objections at me and I'm going to, I'm going to close these people live on the call. So uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Make sure you're on next week's call, but hopefully you guys got some value. I'll post the recording of this tonight. Love you guys. Let me know if you need anything. Peace.